Hey everyone, if you're looking to provide live streaming services to clients, a lot of corporate clients are gonna to wanna to make sure that the live stream is secure, that it's ad free, and that they can embed the live stream on their own websites. So this could be a lot of different broadcasts. It could be music broadcasts, it could be movie premieres, it could be company presentations. So you're gonna to wanna to be able to use a service where you can control the video feed and how the video is played back and to who it's played back to. So in order to find a solution to all this, I was able to partner up again with caster.io to highlight their live stream feature. And what their live stream feature does is it allows you to create an embeddable HTML5 player. So this is basically a video player and it also has a chat feature. And you can embed this in your client's website or basically wherever you like. So first you'll need to create a new caster.io account and you can do that by going to the link you see here or clicking on the link in the description. And when you sign up, you get a seven day free trial of the one terabyte live stream plan. And once you've created an account and you're in the dashboard, you're gonna click on create new and we're gonna create a new live stream. So once again, you'll need to set a stream name and also the hosting region. So the stream name, as always, if you're working with a bunch of different clients and you're gonna have a bunch of different live stream players, you know, set the name closest to whatever the client's project is. And then for the hosting region, again, you're going to want to pick the hosting region that's closest to wherever you'll be streaming from. So if you're going to a job site that's in Dallas, pick Dallas as a region that you'll be broadcasting to. So now you'll be in the dashboard for the live streaming feature. And you can see here that one of the cool things is that you can actually still use the multi-streaming feature. So you can stream to not only just your player, but to other different platforms. If you'd like more details on how to set up the multi-streaming feature, you can click on the video above. But now at this point, you're probably thinking like, what do I need a live streaming player for? So with caster.io, you basically have control over how the live stream or the content is received. Now, many of the other platforms, you have to deal with their terms of service and you know, their branding is going to be all over the video player. Whereas you have control over this with caster.io. Now, this doesn't mean that you sacrifice any quality because caster.io uses HLS streaming. So basically your viewers, no matter where they are in the world, they'll get the best connection possible and have the most stable video feed. So before we start streaming, let's look at some of the settings we can do here for the players. We're gonna go into the video settings section. So you can customize the theme color and you can customize things like the logo that'll appear on the player, or you can even set an embed poster when the player isn't live. And you can even set a Google Analytics ID for tracking. You can also enable a chat room for your players. So this is so people can talk to each other or you can talk to them. And you can also enable transcoding. Now transcoding is a paid feature, but it's available with all the paid plans. So next let's go to the security tab and this is where you're gonna control who can watch your stream. So one of the first controls is setting a password for your video streaming player. So if you set a password, people can only watch the video feed if they enter that password. And a good use case for this is if you're doing any type of pay-per-view content, you know, once people purchase a ticket, you can send out the passcode in an email. You can also block countries from viewing the content or make it so that only certain countries can view the content. Now this is really useful if you're creating content where you maybe don't have the global broadcast rights to. So maybe if you're doing like a music concert or something and only certain countries can view this, this is a great way to use these tools. And last but not least, you can also enable domain whitelisting. Now this is only a paid feature. So now that we have our video player set, we can start streaming to caster.io. So as with multi-streaming, you can actually stream from your streaming software or pull from an RTMP feed. So we're gonna start streaming with OBS. And now we're gonna to check to make sure that caster is receiving a stable video feed. And once we've confirmed that, now we can test out embedding the video player. So in the playback section, you'll see an embed widget or a playback URL. Now, either of these will work. It depends on what site or platform you're building your website on. So I'm just gonna use a simple Google site. So we'll have that. And then we're gonna use the playback URL. And then we're gonna show a preview of this so you can see the embed thumbnail I've set up here. And then I'm gonna start the stream in OBS and now you can see the video playback going. And that's pretty much it. That's all it takes to set up your own video player in your own website with caster.io. So one last thing to mention is that if you're gonna offer this video player service to clients, you need to make sure to budget for your bandwidth requirements. So caster.io offers a bunch of different bandwidth packages but if you're not quite sure how much bandwidth or data you're gonna be using, they've actually built this handy tool for calculating bandwidth on their website. I'll leave a link to it in the description, but basically, you know, you just say how many hours you're gonna be and how many people are gonna be watching and it'll tell you what package that you should purchase. Well, that's about it for setting up a live streaming player. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments. 
Thanks again to Caster.io for sponsoring this video. And again, if you'd like to try their broadcast package, you can get a seven day free trial by going to the link you see here or clicking on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. Leave a like if this was helpful. Make sure to subscribe if you want more stream tech and stream guides. Thanks again for watching. Catch you on the next one.